Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a 2022 Genesis G70. Um, I'm gonna show you what's going on with this vehicle. Um, so the customer was planning to change his own spark plug, and they said that you know it's more performance. I don't know where he got this. Um, so he did everything already and then the car got towed in because this socket, the spark plug got stuck in there and uh, I think I believe that's gonna be one, three, three, cylinder three um, spark plug hole, right? <clears throat> so as you can see there, I get some connectors that's damaged a little bit not that, but not that bad so uh, I was instructed that I just have to put this new spark plug and that cylinder number three so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try if we don't have to remove the intake manifold as you can see there it lights up on this side here so what we're gonna do is I guess so either I'm gonna use different kinds of um, extensions or wobble type extensions so let's see okay so this is the spark plug from this dense iridium power so as you can see our original spark plug from this G70 is NGK Right, and then we're replacing with Denso. So I don't see any much difference on these two, except the spark plug gap on the Denso one is more closer compared to our original one. So I'm just gonna set up the camera and then let's try to install this and hope we don't have to remove the intake manifold. So these are the tools that the customer use. We're gonna leave it there because we have to return that. And we'll see. Okay, first we're just gonna have to put this spark plug. We'll make sure that it goes in nicely there. Let's see, let's try with a magnet. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Okay. So I guess so as you can see on my spark plug uh, socket, it has swivel ready. I'm gonna use another swivel, and let's see if this is gonna be a good, an effective one.
can feel something. Looks like it's going in. I'm just gonna do one more last. Still not. That's it. I felt the thread already went in. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Hi. So, I'm gonna remove the manifold then. Okay. So, we're just gonna remove these connections here. Hi. At least we tried. <laughs> so, we're gonna remove our manifold. What else do we need to remove? This harness here and a bunch of lines here. So let's try that and see. Just gonna move this harness. Gonna remove this vacuum line here. manifold in this new genesis the old ones yes I did some now let's see and how okay so I have to remove this here I'm just gonna remove this guy here sensor. Let's put this aside. And then get some lines here. And I remove this brown.
yung uh, mounting bracket for the fuel lines and vapor lines. And we have enough space. Okay, let's remove this guy. Okay, that's good. And let me put a bungee cord on this guy. So far so good, not too complicated, uh, next will be, we are going to remove our map sensor here, uh, our hose here, that's connected to the manifold, okay, that's out, whilst another hose there so let's remove that what is this a purge valve and okay, we got a purge valve there there's a hose at the bottom so the best thing is we can remove that purge valve there and then remove the hose it's attached to it, I think, I think, let's try that, so right now I'm just going to go to the purge valve, I have enough space there. I'm just gonna remove the hose there. Just the bottom part of the perch valve. There's a hose. I think that's going from line. Yeah, <coughs> for a vapor line. So, I'm just gonna remove this guy here. Okay, that's good. That's out. He's out. So, there's just a rubber mounting there. I'm just going to spray some silicone so it's easier for me to slide it out. Come on. It's out. As you can see there. And then the next will be the next will be our this guy here our throttle body side so what I usually do is this guy if you see in the camera <coughs> this guy here just use a vice grip So well, this type of hoses is how I use uh, how I remove the hose or the clamp and inside this cover there's gonna be a think you can use a flat screwdriver or an 8 millimeter socket if I'm not mistaken so that's out now I'm just gonna spray another silicone again there so that 
easier for me to remove it. This is going to be very, very tight here. So at the bottom of this pipe, there's a mounting bolt there, 10 millimeter. So just remove that. Just remove that so that you can pull the pipe back. out now as you can see there there's coolant going to our throttle body as much as possible if we can try to move it move this side so that we don't have to worry about the coolant right so now I'm gonna remove all our bolts so there's gonna be same thing I think there's six bolts in this how many two So I think there's two, four, six, eight, eight bolts and two 10 millimeter nuts on each side. Okay. Now we're gonna remove our 12 mm bolt there. Oh, 14. Okay, so now, can we lift this up? Okay. Come on, baby. Don't stop. What is that? So be careful. Just reposition your bungee cord and your line for the perch valve. I think that's what's holding. I think. Or is the harness? Ah, the harness. So there's gonna be. A harness here on this side on this manifold. Let's remove the bolt. Let's, you can always just remove the bolt there, so it's easier. Now, just I think 
should be okay now. Just be careful. Make sure all your bolts are still in the on the manifold, because I think that's why it gets um, it stayed down there, because there's a rubber inside that hole there. So, which is good. We just put this aside here, our purge valve. Let's we'll just inspect something before we. Okay, so far. Intake set are all clean. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's do this quick. Since we have access now on our number three cylinder. And why? Why it didn't line up? What's going on in this one? Let me remove this. Let me remove it. Should be fine then. This is our spark plug holder. Thread it in. are going in <laughs> why is that going in Something is going on in this, guys. Um, that's tight now. We're just gonna go slowly on this one because I think they did something on this. Because right now I'm very, very straight on the hole by not going in. Let's just not use our gun. We just do it very, very slowly. Because I think the first um, thread on the hole, I think it got messed up, right? Because if it was okay, I think we'll, we'll be able to put our spark plug without removing our manifold. But I think we have to be very, very careful on this scenario. Okay. is not going in. I'm just gonna use the gun but very very slowly. Okay. I'm just gonna try this. Okay. Let's start that. Usually I'll torque the spark plugs at 18 foot pound. So okay. So that's good now. Question there is, is it all the way in there? But it torqued to spec. That's good now. I wonder how he removed this spark plug, the, uh, the ignition coil, when the intake manifold was still there. 
So that's why I guess there's some damage in this connector. Because I was trying to force it. We're going. So let's let's put this in. Okay. So we're just gonna put everything back together. I guess and that one. I think something happened with the first thread on the hole because I was we tried that we can put it in without removing the manifold because our socket can go in there, right? So we're just gonna put our manifold back and we'll just reattach all the hoses, whatever that we remove. So I think this this manifold is not that bad because unlike the earlier Genesis, um, those manifolds so hard to um, it's not hard to remove. It's easy to remove, but the positioning of all the mounting bolts was very tricky, right? So we're just gonna put this in. We're just going to take our manifold So, I'm just gonna put everything back together. I will not bore you guys on, on this stuff. Um, and then we're gonna get back after I put everything back together and we'll start the car. Make sure that there's no abnormal noise and there's no misfire. Alright, guys, so I put everything back together. Um, we'll just scan for codes because. They told me that the tow truck, because this vehicle got towed in, tow truck um, started a vehicle with that spark plug out. So let's see if we have some misfire on that cylinder number three. If I'm not mistaken, if that's number three, now we'll just clear it and we'll start the vehicle. code so cylinder number three misfire one I don't know what's going on with one it's pending number five um, there's throttle position correlation and heater so let's erase that and then let's start the vehicle that's good Started fine. Um, just quick, quick check here. Our current data. Go 
go to our misfire counter make sure we don't have any misfire here because we just touch the number three the rust is the owner's installation so far it was no misfire here which is good so that's it guys um, there's nothing wrong with do it yourself at least on this customer's case um, he know that you know he tried that and it didn't work and he stopped he didn't force anything which is good at least we didn't have any damages especially the thread on that spark plug hole on cylinder number three and we tried to do it because um, we know that the socket can go in there the space but I think when we remove our intake manifold um, I think the first thread there on the hole I think maybe it's a little bit worn or something like that from repeated um, turning of the spark plug uh, so at least right now it went in and it's good and that's it so I hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time thank you for watching